Hi, today's tutorial will look at how to create time-lapse slideshow, and it should be fun. I've brought in a collection of images of Pentra Even, a Neolithic burial chamber located in West Wales. Let's get started. I highlight all the photos and then select slideshow. Up pops slideshow creator. Locate the time-lapse slideshow and then click next. All easy so far. The duration of each image alters the time code duration. That's the display time of your slideshow. Experiment and see how those changes affect the slideshow. Ah, I did. Once settled, select next. Select advanced editing. Select finish. A warning pops up. Nothing to worry about. Read and, and acknowledge and then the video slideshow can be made. Boom, wasn't that quick, and a first time-lapse slideshow has been created. Hmm, wasn't so great as a time-lapse, was it? A bit jumpy. That was to do with the number of photos collected. Creating another time-lapse slideshow from a related group of images. Slideshow preferences reveal a couple of choices. I'll retain my ordered selection in the timeline. Moving on and looking at the created clip shows a silly error in the selection. Notice the photo movement. That section has to be isolated and split from the video and then removed. To get great time-lapse photos for a slideshow, use a tripod and a remote or auto activator. See how a time-lapse should look like. Pulling together a collection of 116 photos with one photo recorded every 20 seconds, that's a period of 38 minutes and 40 seconds. If one second represented a single frame, the slideshow would last just 3 seconds and 26 frames. <laughs> Hang on, I need to adjust the duration time code somewhat. Changing the image skip isn't the right option here. Altering the duration of each photo is reflected in the total duration, the display time of the video. OK, I think 3 frames per image would be good and give 11 seconds and 18 frames. Read the preview jitter warning and click OK. Watch the slideshow preview. See the farm vehicles carting. Bottom right. <laughs> An alternative would be to produce a video file, or go directly to create this, not for today. Follow the same earlier procedure and the video slideshow is created. Thank you for watching my tutorial, grab your camera, a tripod and have a go at making a time-lapse slideshow.